The four core functions of any exchange are capital deposits, order books, order matching, and asset exchange. In order to create a fully decentralized exchange, or DEX, each of these functions must be decentralized. Typically on cryptocurrency exchanges, the asset exchange part is decentralized by default, as the assets are cryptocurrencies. The other three functions, and especially deposits, are usually centralized. Due to Know Your Customer and Anti-Money Laundering regulations, exchanges are required to seek users' identities for any capital deposits. This is stored on a centralized server that holds your personal information. An exchange with any form of centralized databases or servers is allowing you to access the cryptocurrency market, while the decentralized exchange gives you access. A decentralized exchange does not, and cannot shut anyone out. The most obvious benefit of a DEX is the same as with any decentralized application, the censorship resistance. Any application built on a decentralized blockchain can't be shut down unless the entire chain is shut down. This is important, as many countries have banned or heavily restricted cryptocurrency use. In order for citizens of these countries to be able to access the ecosystem, they need applications that their government can't shut down. If your access point to the crypto world is a centralized exchange, then your ability to access cryptocurrency is no more free or independent than your ability to access regular currency. A government could still seize your assets, shut down your trading, or come after you personally. Decentralized exchanges mitigate much of this risk. Decentralized exchanges also require the user to be 100% responsible and in control of their funds. For some people, this might be a negative. Not everyone wants to be in charge of the safety of their assets. But by shouldering the responsibility on your own, your funds are as secure as you want them to be. Several million dollars of cryptocurrency have been stolen from users when the centralized exchange that they used was hacked. By taking your funds into your own hands and using a DEX, your currency is your responsibility and a corporation's security vulnerabilities won't affect you. Of course, the DEX's code can still have vulnerabilities or be compromised, so you should still use them with caution. Try and educate yourself as best as you can about the platform that you're using, and take extra steps to secure your own assets as best as you can. Finally, DEXs can facilitate faster and cheaper transactions, as code does all of the validation. There's no middleman paying employees to verify every trade and take huge cuts off of every transaction. The code does its work, and you get the best value, as well as the most control in your trading. It's not an easy undertaking to decentralize every aspect of an exchange marketplace, and while some have nailed down the basic functionalities of swapping coins with other users, the more advanced functionalities are by and large not present. Someone used to robust and complex centralized stock trading platforms would be woefully disappointed moving to a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. So in that aspect, DEXs still have some catching up to do with centralized exchanges that can generally provide more robust features and a better user experience. DEXs are no doubt an important part of the future of cryptocurrency, and are already a major help for people in restricted countries that want to access the blockchain ecosystem. With more growth and development time, DEXs will be more advanced and become a better and better option against traditional exchanges.